So always worth doing a worked calculation. This is how I would do it. Hopefully it will match up to how your teachers would want you to do it. So here are our data. That's the concentration of the HCL, 0.0986 moles per cubic decimeter. Trial number one, I took 10 cubic centimeters of my mixed solution. I added 22 cubic centimeters to get the phenol thaline change from pink to colorless. And then I added some more. So total volume of 34.8 cubic centimeters to get the methyl orange to go from yellow to orange. So what we're always interested in here are the moles and we want the moles of HCl given the concentration and the volume. Well, concentration is, of course, moles of the solute. In this case, that's HCl over liters of solution. Multiply that by both sides by liters of solution. And the equation we're going to use is that moles of the solute, moles of HCl, is the molarity times the volume, the liters of solution, the cubic decimeters, otherwise obtained from the cubic centimeters. So here's that calculation here. The first moles, 2.17 times 10 to the minus 3. I got that by taking the concentration times the volume in cubic decimeters. Let's do the same calculation for this 34.8 and that total of 3.43 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of HCl. Now let's think about what we were doing with each of these. As we started adding the HCl, we first of all neutralized sodium hydroxide, and then we neutralized the sodium carbonate to sodium hydrogen carbonate. And then we added some more so that by the time we'd come to this equivalence point, the methyl orange changing from yellow to orange, now this many moles of HCl was the sodium hydroxide, plus the sodium carbonate turning into the sodium hydrogen carbonate, plus the same amount again as the sodium hydrogen carbonate turned into the carbonic acid. So I've sort of jumped a step there saying, well, of course, the amount of sodium hydrogen carbonate that was neutralized here is the same as the amount of sodium carbonate that got turned into the sodium carbonate up here. So putting it all together, the moles of sodium carbonate is going to be the moles of sodium hydroxide and two sodium carbonates minus the moles of sodium hydroxide and the mole of sodium carbonate. So that's 1.26 times 10 to the minus three moles. And now using this number here, which is the sodium hydroxide plus the sodium carbonate, I can determine the moles of sodium hydroxide is equal to 0.93 times 10 to the minus three moles or 9.3 times 10 to the minus four moles. Suspect this is the part that will be the sneakiest for you. Remember the first part, we got the sodium hydroxide, that goes away. Sodium carbonate, if I have two sodium carbonates, for example, then that makes now two sodium hydrogen carbonates. And then those two sodium hydrogen carbonates get neutralized in this last step here. And the amount of sodium hydrogen carbonate is the same as the amount of sodium carbonate.